What's going on guys, I'm Ultimate Moose, and today we're back with another episode of my Seattle Mariners franchise. We're going to go over the games you guys missed. I played five, and as you guys can may or may not see, uh, we won two and lost three. So let's break them down. First off, we had a four-game series with the Boston Red Sox, my favorite team in real life, actually. Um, and we didn't do too well. I think we split the series 2-2. Um, so that's all right, but, you know, obviously we want to, you know, be sweeping or at least, you know, taking advantage in the series right there. Austin Jackson had three hits in this one, which was obviously nice to see. We did win 3-1. to one. Had a home run with uh, Jackson and Cruz as well. So uh, Nelson Cruz definitely getting his power stroke going. It's been nice to see that. And uh, James Paxton with uh, seven and two-thirds innings pitch, only allowing one run, which is very, very nice to see. His ERA has uh, is one of the best on the team, to be honest. So uh, Paxton pitched pretty well in that one. We won that game. Moving on to the next game, we actually lost this one two to nothing. Couldn't get anything going, um, you know, hitting wise. Uh, Pablo Sandoval had an RBI along with Alan Craig for the Red Sox, and we actually dropped this game, uh, really not doing anything. Willie Bloomquist had three hits, but other than that, everyone else struggled. Austin Jackson, the only other player in my entire lineup to get a hit, um, and Clay Buckholz pretty much dominated us the entire game. While J. J. Happ did all right, you know, he pitched pretty well, seven innings, one earned run, but just couldn't actually get the win. In this game right here, we had Felix Fernandez on the mound, and he was pitching a fantastic game. I don't even want to like overemphasize that he was pitching. Just disgusting. I think he had like 10 Ks through like a certain amount of innings or some crazy thing like that. Um, yeah, 10 Ks in like six innings, but he gave up four runs in the seventh inning. I couldn't even get one out with him in the seventh inning. I don't know what it is with with Felix. Once I get a runner on base or something, I just freak out and I start giving up runs. Who knows why? Uh, we try to make a little bit of a comeback in the ninth inning, as you guys can see here. Rick Porcello went into the ninth. He pitched eight and a third innings. We got two runs back, but we couldn't get the third across. It was close. I think I had like. Um, Cruz or, or Cano or somebody, you know, one of the good hitters up, maybe it was Seager, um, and I couldn't knock in the, the base runners to actually tie the game up, but hey, it happens, it's no big deal. Next game, the final game of the series, we actually did, uh, were able to win it, uh, got three early runs, which pretty much, you know, set the table and were able to win it. Uh, Mookie Betts and Xander Bogarts hit home runs in this one for the Red Sox, so obviously we didn't want to see that, but we had another home run with Nelson Cruz, like I said, he's really getting going and it's very nice to see that. Uh, definitely want to see him, you know, hit a lot of homers. Obviously, in real life, he's killing it. And uh, Hisashi Iwakuma pitched a very, very good game in this one, only giving up one run in seven innings, only striking out three. But that's not really his game, you know. I don't really strike out too many people with Hisashi, but he's pitching a lot better lately and looking more like a number two starter. Now, in our final game that you guys missed, um, you know, played okay until the bottom of the eighth inning when the Orioles scored four runs on me. That pretty much sealed the deal right there. Um, and, you know, they, they pretty much just took over. Let's see how our team did in this one. Um, you know, we did actually pretty well. You know, Seager had two hits. All, you know, almost everybody in the lineup had a hit, uh, which was obviously nice to see. But we just couldn't, you know, get the clutch runs, couldn't get the clutch hits. And, uh, you know, ended up giving up four runs in the bottom of the eighth inning, which was definitely nice, not nice to see. Um, a very similar situation to what Fe happened to Felix Hernandez a couple of games before. You know, Tywin Walker pitched a great game until... Um, until the eighth inning in which he gave up a couple more runs. And then Danny Farquhar came in and really was not effective either. And uh, he gave up a few runs as well. So that's the story of the few games you guys missed. Let's hop into the next one. We're um, playing the Orioles again. They have Wei Yin Chen on the mound and we have James Paxton on the mound. So hopefully we can get a victory. I'll see you guys in the game. Hopping into the game now, the lineup is pretty similar to what it normally is, except for uh, Jesus Montero is slotted in. Instead of Logan Morrison, we are facing a lefty on today's game. Uh, but we're hopping into the bottom of the first inning. Uh, we do have James Paxton on the mound. He did pitch a very, very good game. You guys will see that over the course of the entire game. Um, definitely really, you know, has shown to be one of my best starters, even though he is my number four starter technically. I would say that he's performed as if he was a two or three starter. Right there, we get kind of a generous call on Adam Jones. We always like to see that, especially against a very good player of his uh, caliber. This inning, though, very good start to it. Nelson Cruz single up the middle is always nice to see. And then Kyle Seager falling on him right up on a 3-2 count, another single up the middle. So we got first and third with nobody out. Definitely, or first and second, I should say, with nobody out. Big time uh, scoring opportunity right here. Mike Zanino with one out. Rips it to right field. Thought this might get up for a double. Not quite, though. Nelson Cruz tagging from second, going to third, which is actually crucial because Jesus Montero, like I mentioned in the beginning, he uh, he's up right now, and he gets a nice single to center field. Not sure if Cruz would have scored if he was on second, but he's on third, so he easily scores right here. Kind of stupid to go to third, but I was safe, luckily, with Kyle Seager, so that's nice to see. First and third for Brad Miller. Can we score some more? Um, and Brad Miller not able to produce any more runs right there flies out to center almost dropped it in for a hit would have been very very nice to see just that uh but in, uh, close but no cigar i suppose uh right here 
uh, Paxton able to uh, induce a ground ball, which was nice to see, and an out. But uh, next batter gets a nice double to right center field. Definitely a nice hit right there. Trying to contain it a little bit, make sure he didn't get the third. Thankfully, we did get the ball in. Uh, that's always a huge concern from, of mine is just making sure that I make the plays necessary. Um, so, you know, limit base runners and limit where runners are on base. Right here, two outs, runner on third. We walk a guy, so now it's first and third. This is kind of a difficult situation. Um, but hopefully we can get out of it and we get a little pop-up and James Paxton able to get off the mound and make the grab So that was very very nice to see definitely crucial um, To make that play right here Austin Jackson thought I might have got a hold of one thought I might have you know Maybe put one in the seats not quite though Austin Jackson has been finding his power stroke recently I think he has three home runs in the season, but not able to there and Cano strikes out a little bit late on a fastball That's honestly something I got to work on um, the pitchers I faced from the Orioles in this one really uh, had some, you know, fast fastballs, I guess is really the best way I could describe it. And I was behind a lot of them right here. They lead off with a single to start off the inning. 3-2 count next batter, and we get a nice double play. That's kind of a theme of this game. Had a ton of double plays. You guys will see pretty much all of them. Um, it was kind of crazy. I think I might have had like four or five. So very, very nice to see that. And then a liner to left, but Ichiro's too quick. Able to go and snag that before it does land uh, in for a single right here. Nelson Cruz again swinging a hot bat. Getting a nice double into the left center field gap. And, uh, you know, always he's setting the table for our team. That was another, uh, you know, no out hit for him. Right here, Kyle Seeger not able to move him over. Definitely not the best at bat in the world. Just a lazy fly out to center field. Adam Jones has no problem retiring that. Justin Ruggiano up next. And he grounds out to third base. And this is really stupid play. I don't know why, but I went to third with Nelson Cruz. Really, really dumb, and that pretty much ended the inning right there. We definitely could have scored, but uh, we kind of squandered it with that terrible base running. Right there, we walk Adam Jones to start off the inning. We strike out Chris Davis, next batter, which was huge to see. Um, then they get a hit right up the middle with Adam Jones on second base. Austin Jackson denies him, though. Great throw to home plate, making sure Adam Jones stays at third with one out. First and third, huge strikeout of Delman Young, and then the next batter. Um, able to induce a ground ball to Kyle Seager and end the inning. So another jam that we got out of with Paxton. That's always nice to see. Usually when I get runners on base, um, you know, it's pretty bad. Right here, we're skipping the next inning. Uh, that is a new thing I'm going to try to do, guys, is, you know, skip the irrelevant parts of the game and get to the more interesting, more action-filled parts of the game instead of, you know, just three up, three down. Um, so you guys are a little bit more engaged. Got a 3-2 count here, though. And like I said, another double play. It was a very nice theme of this one. Um, and like I've been trying to say throughout the entire game, it's just nice to see that my team is making plays when it counts. Um, usually when I would get runners on base earlier in the season, I would be, you know, um, you know, letting up like four or five runs in an inning, and it's just crazy. It's, it's a terrible way to play the game. Um, so it's, it's nice to see that my team is, you know, stepping up in the clutch situations right here. Nelson Cruz thought I might have had this one. Uh, it was definitely a nice pitch to hit. I think I was a little bit behind it, though, and we do fly out to right center field, so just not able to, uh, you know, get another homer for Nelson Cruz, who does have, I believe, nine on the season right now. Uh, right there, Kyle Seager able to throw him out at first base. Nice start to the inning. Adam Jones up next, and he grounds out to shortstop. Uh, but look at this. Brad Miller, a little bit of a low throw. Jesus Montero not able to dig it out, and they had now a runner on first. Always frustrating to see stuff like that. And then Chris Davis walks on the next batter. Not nice to see that. That was kind of a dumb pitch. I should have thrown something more in the zone. Uh, but once again, we're bailed out by the ground balls. Another double play. This play at first was very, very close. I believe they challenged it, and it was not overturned, thankfully. So... Um, you know, we're, we're getting lucky. That's the third double play, I believe. Uh, but Kyle Seager, again, not able to set the table. I believe he is leading the league in batting average, though. So um, overall, he hasn't been having a good year. But this game, kind of struggling except for that one single he had. Mike Zanino right here getting a single. Always nice to see him going a little bit. In our next game after this, actually, he did pretty well. I'll save that um, for the next video. But, you know, Mike Zanino getting going a little bit. Jesus Montero right there a little bit off on that one. And he does strike out to end the inning. We still have James Paxton on the mound, only at 90 pitches, so I figured, you know, why not? Let's try and stretch him out, get him through seven if we can. That would be very, very nice to see, especially for a guy that is, like I said, my number four starter, even though he does pitch basically like a number two starter right there. Gets another strikeout. Just having a fantastic game right now. Two outs, but look at this gigantic rip into left center field. I thought it was a home run. I could have sworn it was off the top of the wall, essentially, and they are able to get a double, but that scared the living hell out of me, not going to lie. Uh, that would have tied the game, but not quite. 2-2 two -two count right here, and we are able to induce a pop-up, or uh, more of a fly ball, I should say, to right field. Justin Ruggiano able to bring this one in for the final out of the inning, which was nice to see. 
top of the ninth now. Let's see if we can get an insurance run, maybe. Uh, so Fernando Rodney has a little bit of leeway, a little bit of room to work with. Uh, Cano flies out to left, so that's not going to help. 1-2 count now for Nelson Cruz. I try to hold back on that swing. Not quite. And uh, he, he's making me look silly on that one, striking out for the second out of the inning. And then uh, Kyle Seager right here rips one to right and uh, gets a nice hit here. So um, they they honestly called this a single and an error on the right fielder. I thought it was going to be a double. Hey, it's all good. Uh, still nice to see Seager get hits, and he does get a lot every single game. Uh, Justin Ruggiano right there strikes out to end the inning. Uh, so no insurance runs. But Fernando Rodney's on now. Hopefully he can pitch better than he is in real life. He gets one out on a grounder to Kyle Seager, who's been doing work all game at the uh, third base uh, position. Gets a strikeout on the next batter. And then the final batter of the game, nice circle change right down, um, you know, in the bottom of the zone. And fantastic. Gets it for uh, the final strike out of the inning. And we had another win here, uh, one to nothing. Very nice to see that. James Paxson, player of the game, pitched very, very well. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. And let me know if you're excited for the next game. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.